Hi, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Jimmy. I make videos every week to add value to you as I do to myself. Off late, my videos have been about motherhood, about pregnancy and babies, um, ever since I had my baby, obviously. I'm sat here in the car today recording this video because it is a very, very uh, spontaneous video today. I've come for one of these baby sensory classes with Levi and I'm waiting in the car park because I am a good couple of minutes early and... Levi is sleeping in the background, the poor thing. Um, I dragged him out while it was still his nap time, so he slept in the car. I'm going to give him a few minutes to sleep before I take him in because I am early anyway. Let me just talk you through this gym, um, not gym, it's called Gym Bori and it's a baby sensory class. Let me talk you through this, okay? I thought it might be useful for someone out there and it'll be nice to film everything if I'm able to film it. While I was pregnant, I attended these antenatal classes with a group of people on Zoom. Some of them mentioned about the baby sensory class and some of my friends in my local church mentioned about it also. But by the time I heard about it, it was too late for me to book into anything because everything was fully booked and I was on the wait list until either end of the year or early next year. And I felt that that would probably be a bit too late. Um, now, these baby sensory classes are open for, you know, right from birth all the way up to 12 months and then they have different classes from toddler years like first year up to fifth uh, year five or year six or something like that I don't know about the toddler years but they have quite a lot the only one that I found available is this place called Jimbori it's called Jimbori I'm trying to read the sign there it's called Jimbori play and music they've got quite a bit of activities going on. The one that I've signed Levi up for is a baby membership where we have open access to the gym. It's three days a week and then they have one play and learn um, session. That play and learn session is more structured. There are classes. It runs for about 45 minutes. There's someone there who would... Um, you know, have activities planned. I attended one of those trial classes uh, last month and then I signed Levi up to start from this month onwards. The one that I'm attending today is the open gym and this is the first time I'm attending the open gym. I was told that it's on the same floor with all of those same equipments that they have and same, you know, toys and everything. But there is no structure per se, but there will be someone guiding you, I think. I'm going to try and film as much as I can. Um, I think it might be useful for someone. This baby jamboree class, I find this better than some of the other baby sensory classes that I've tried the trial online, you know, when it was available, but it's not really available for booking in person anyway. This baby jamboree class is available throughout England and in a few locations in Scotland as well. And I find that this is far cheaper than anywhere else. Uh, the baby membership that I've signed Levi up is for £37 per month and it's like a monthly rolling contract. It's not, you know, six months or whatever it is. With £37, you have one session per week, which is structured for the play and learn. And then you have three days of open gym. You can either come one day or you can come three days, depends on what you want to do, you know. So I find even if you do two days a week, it's much cheaper than any other baby sensory that I've seen. Some other baby sensory, the, the more famous ones that I've seen, the more popular ones rather, are about 7 50 or 8 50 per session, like eight pounds and 50 pence per session. It's only once a week and it's only for like six to seven weeks. It's not, you know, continuous. I think this is going to be good for him over winter, especially when it's really cold. So we don't really have to worry about going out in the cold with him and we can bring him here on and off. He found it a bit amusing the first time and he was taken aback because he's not seen that many people. He's not seen that many toys. It's just not been the same setup for him at home as it is here, you know. So I'm curious to see how he is going to be today. I'm going to wake him up now and then take him in and I'll take you along with me. I don't know how much I can film, but I will try as best as I can.
there isn't anyone else here at all. It's just us today. They don't normally take um, booking for open gym, apparently. So we don't know who else is going to turn out. And it's like a free structure, like I said earlier. I have the whole place to myself. So we can show you around. He's going to see you soon, okay? So that was us at the play gym, at the open gym. It was quite nice actually. There wasn't anyone else. I was a little bit disappointed that no one else turned up today. But it is an open gym after all. People just walk in us and when they want to over the couple of days that they're open in a week, you know. But it kind of gave me a little bit of freedom that I could walk wherever I wanted to. I could... I uh, forgot the aircon on. I could, um, you know, use whatever toys and equipment I wanted to. It's similar to playing at home with him, whatever I would do at home. But obviously, I have uh, all of these facilities that I can use and play with him. He was in the middle of his nap and he's definitely going to fall asleep anytime soon now also. I kind of feel bad for him that I woke him up halfway between his nap to go to the open gym. 
maybe the next time I'll time it uh, that he's not sleepy at that time at all. But I think four months or five months is a perfect time for a baby sensory or for, you know, anything like this at all. Because anytime sooner than that, they're way too young. They're not able to move. They're not able to explore or do anything else. Levi is four and a half months now. Um, had he not been sleepy, he would have been a little bit more active. But yeah, it is what it is. I think he needs that exposure a lot more than anything else. Even if he physically doesn't move, he is taking in everything. And that's what a baby sensory class is all about. Um, you know, it's like his sight, his eyesight and his um, senses are all active when he's looking at everything, all of the lights and different textures and all of those things. So yeah, that was it. I hope you found it useful. If you are in the same boat as I was a couple of months ago, don't fret. Don't worry. It's not that you've not started anything early. Sometimes I worry that I've not done enough for him. That's um, sadly the situation with pandemic babies and lockdown babies, you know. You're not able to see family and friends. You're not able to see other people. And these are the only kind of things that you're able to do for them. Uh, and you're able to support them. But they're babies. They will learn however you teach them however you support them and however you play with them they will still learn and don't be too hard on yourself thinking that you haven't done enough or you need to do a lot more that's what I always keep telling myself I always think that I haven't done enough or I need to do a lot more sometimes I feel like I'm expecting way too much from him it's not that I'm expecting from him I'm expecting from myself I just want to make sure that I present everything to him and he learns and he picks up whatever he wants to that's all it is but yeah, I, I hope you, you enjoyed this video and I hope you found this useful. I need to get this baby back. I have to move the car so that he can sleep and I need to play a song. I have to stop recording. I am filming from my phone, by the way, because it was so spontaneous. Once I stop filming, I will be able to play on Spotify and he will fall asleep on the way back. I will see you again next week. Bye.